वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सोल्यूशन एनसीआरटी बैक एक्सरसाइज द प्रॉब्लम इज अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ ग्लूकोज इन वॉटर इज लेबल्ड एज टेन परसेंट वेट बाई वेट वॉट शुड बी द मोलैरिटी मोलैलिटी एंड मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ईच कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन इफ द डेंसिटी ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज वन पॉइंट टू ग्राम पर एम एल सो वी हैव गिवन द टेन परसेंट वेट बाय वेट ग्लूकोज सोल्यूशन इट इज गिवन दैट इट इज अ ग्लूकोज सोल्यूशन वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मोलैरिटी molality and mole fraction of each component of the solution each component means solute and solvent and solute is glucose and solvent is water and the density of the solution is 1.2 g per ml so in this question our aim is to find out the molarity molality and the mole fraction of glucose as well as the mole fraction of the water now what is given to us given is it is 10% weight by weight glucose solution and the density of the solution is 1.2 g per ml now firstly we will find out the mole fraction of each component firstly we will work on this term mole fraction of glucose and mole fraction of the water we have given the 10% weight by weight of the glucose solution percent weight by weight of glucose solution means that weight of solution is 100 g and the weight of glucose in it is 10 g so the mole of glucose is given mass by molar mass and the molar mass of the glucose is 180 as the formula for the glucose is C6H12O6 so from here we can calculate the molar mass of the glucose so mole of glucose will come out to be 10 by 180 that is 0.055 mole so these are the moles of the glucose now if the weight of solution is 100 g and weight of glucose is 10 g so what is the weight of the solvent water it is 90 g we can subtract from the weight of solution the weight of glucose and we can find out that weight of solvent would be 90 g going to find out the mole fraction of the glucose it is mole of glucose upon total mole of the solution that is mole of glucose plus mole of the solvent now the mole fraction of glucose by placing simply the values mole of solute that is glucose we have already calculated it is 0.055 and the mole of water is 5 and the mole of glucose here by placing the values so the mole fraction of glucose comes out to be 0.01 now what is the mole fraction of water so mole fraction of water would be 1 minus the mole fraction of the glucose so it will come out to be 0.99 we have calculated the mole fraction of the each component that is mole fraction of glucose as well as the mole fraction of the water we are going to find out the molality of the solution molality of solution is mole of solute by the mass of solvent mole of solute that is glucose which we have already calculated it is 0.055 now mass of solvent if the mass of solution is 100 g and 10 g was the mass of solute then the mass of solvent would be 90 g and if we change it into kilogram it would be 90 into 10 is to minus 3 because mass of the solvent in molality formula we should take it in the units of the kilogram so molality will come out to be 0.617 mole per kg so we have calculated the mole fraction of each component and we have calculated the molality also Now our aim is to find out the molarity of the solution. We are going to find out the molarity of the solution. Now molarity is mole of solute by the volume of solution and mole of solute as we have discussed already it is 0.055 mole of glucose which we have calculated. Now our aim is to calculate the volume of the solution. We know the density of the solution it is already given it is 1.2 g per ml. So density is mass by volume so mass of solution is 100 g because it was given as 10% weight by weight so mass of solution is already is given 100 and density of solution is 1.2 g per ml so the volume would be mass by density so volume of solution is 83.33 ml and in the molarity the volume of solution should be in the units of the liter so 
change the milliliter into liter by dividing with the thousand. So volume of solution come out to be 0.0833 liter. Now just place the value molarity is equal to mole by volume. Mole is 0.055 and the volume is 0.0833.